Probably one of the worst feelings in the world is to feel helpless in the presence of an ill child. In this case, we're referencing acute diarrhea, two days or greater. What the researchers set out to do here in this network meta-analysis of randomized control trials is to basically hone in on which particular strain of probiotic was the most effective in mitigating the duration of acute diarrhea in children under the age of five years of age, or under five years of age. To top the list off, right off the bat, was Saccharomyces boulardii. Number one. Now, what we're gonna do is we are gonna look into basically how the researchers came up with that particular selection out of all the strains that were researched in these randomized control trials. Now, this is extremely important because this yields either caretakers, medical professionals, parents, so on and so forth, one more tool in that tool chest to not feel so helpless, at least in the presence of children which are having massive gastrointestinal uh, disorder distress, in this case, acute diarrhea. So let us proceed with the research as follows. Which probiotic is the most effective for treating acute diarrhea in children? A Bayesian network meta-analysis of randomized control trials. And again, the Saccharomyces boulardii. Diarrhea is common among infants, usually acute, which is mainly caused by infection. In 2017, the diarrhea accounted for 533,768 deaths among children under the age of five, mainly in developing countries. The World Health Organization defines diarrhea as three or more loose watery stools within 24 hours, and diarrhea is classified as acute if the duration of diarrhea is less than 14 days. Diarrhea can result in dehydration and electrolyte disturbances in children. Significant consequences related to diarrhea in children include growth stunting, uh, malnutrition, and impaired cognitive development. The intestinal microbiota, which closely associated with human health, has been a research hotspot. The derangement of intestinal microflora is the hallmark of diarrhea. Probiotics are live microorganisms, for those not familiar, and have been proved to be beneficial in treating diarrhea. Probiotics show antidiarrheal activity via several mechanisms, including promoting intestinal microflora balance, enhancing host immunity, and enhancing the gut barrier function. Now you're gonna see the, the acronym NMA, which is basically network, Bayesian network meta-analysis. So we're going to proceed to the discussion in the NMA network meta-analysis, quoting, we included 84 randomized control trials with 13,443 children involving 21 interventions to illustrate the clinical effect for pro of probiotics for treating acute diarrhea, quoting, we found that certain single strain and multi-strain probiotics effectively treated acute diarrhea. In the network meta-analysis, we illustrated the clinical effect of a single strain and multi-strain probiotics and determined the comparative effectiveness of various probiotics, as we basically referred to in the chart in the very beginning. To our knowledge, it is the first network meta-analysis that, syst that systematically evaluates the effectiveness of probiotics for treating acute diarrhea in children. Our results showed that probiotics reduce the duration of diarrhea in children by one to two days. Probiotics may be cost-effective for treating acute diarrhea in children because probiotics are cheap. The results of the study may provide a valuable reference for decision-making in a clinical setting. And it's just good to know. If you had to choose, if you went to a store, health food store, wherever it is, medical professional, hospital, I mean, not all probiotics are the same. So which strain of probiotic is going to yield you the best results evidence-based wise? In this case, Saccharomyces boulardii, according to this outcome. To go to the conclusion, in the Bayesian network meta-analysis of 84 studies involving 13,443 children, we found that certain single strain, including Saccharomyces boulardii, LGG, Lactobacillus ruteri, Bifidobacterium lactis, and ECN 1917, and multi-strain probiotics effectively treated acute diarrhea in children with various certainty, I should say, of evidence. Saccharomyces boulardii may be the most effective probiotic for treating acute diarrhea in children. Besides, close runner-up, Bifidobacterium lactis was a promising probiotic. If you can't, I guess, find Saccharomyces boulardii, that'd be your, your, your next go-to. More studies are needed to verify that particular result. Now, the question is going to be, 
how much, when, where, and so on and so forth. I'll have the link to the research article here, the meta-analysis. Now, I'm going to give you an example of one of the studies. So from there, you have a reference point. So if we look at this particular study here and look at it and what this says, this the espolarity in a granulated form in a daily dose of 250 milligrams in the espolarity group or placebo for five days. That just gives you at least a benchmark in which to work with, but I do encourage you strongly to go into this research itself and look at the reference material so you can get a good comparison and find out which works best in your particular environment or scenario per se, especially not knowing necessarily what is the instigator, what is driving the acute diarrhea in that child, whether it be food poisoning, uh, some other gastrointestinal illness, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it's very important if you can, instead of just basically operating blindly, even though we're not operating completely blind because we have Saccharomyces boulardii, but in order to hone in on exactly what it is, look at the reference material. It may be of great use. Again, really, really important. The researchers uh, did a wonderful job. Uh, so you have to give them a lot of credit. And there's a huge network meta-analysis they went through in order to basically find out which one worked the best for children. In this case, in this event, in the magnitude of basically how important uh, Saccharomyces boulardii may be, it is just astounding, profound, let's put it that way. Again, I hope you find this information of use. Many of you may be finding this video uh, searching for answers at the moment with an ill child and so on and so forth. So please work with your medical professional, but at least now you have some sort of data which to work with in order to make those judgment calls a little bit more reassuring. Again, gratitude, thank you. I am humbled for you watching. I look forward to see you all once again next week. And most of all, always thank the researchers first. Catch y'all next time. Bye.